time. For three weeks now, there has been a minimal presence of opposition MPs in Parliament. In this time, they have walked out of Parliament four times in protest at what they call government's refusal to offer an acceptable response on human rights abuses. The lead of opposition in Parliament, Matas Impuga, made a brief return to the House on Tuesday as MPs pay tribute to former Minister Henry Chamber. Reverend Speaker, um, just to assure the House that we came for this sitting and retreat back in our bunker until normally she returns home. Some of the opposition MPs turned up for plenary on Wednesday only to find themselves in an awkward environment that forced them to leave immediately. And Rule 118 of the Rules of Procedure Parliament. One of the incidents that triggered their protest is the arrest of National Unity Platform President Robert Chagulani at Entebbe Airport on 5th October and the disruption of the Independence Day prayers. Demands for a response has cascaded back to a call for a coherent answer on the whereabouts of missing National Unity Platform supporters. We need an unequivocal response. Namely, if you're talking about justice for the murdered, an investigation into who killed them, a report on what has been done on the culprits. Mpuga has maintained his position that the group will not step back in the House. That position has not changed until we have received a coherent and sequential response. The apology and indeed we are waiting for the production of harm of these people because the people that we're talking about that are missing this government, through the Prime Minister, has indicated that uh, Chibalama, for instance, was arrested. If indeed he was arrested, where is he? Because before we even talk about other people, we can't talk about the Chibalama. Deputy Speaker of Parliament Thomas Tayewa told Parliament that efforts have been deployed to end the impasse as he is uncomfortable with having a one-sided house. We are facilitating uh, dialogue between the two sides so that our colleagues can come back to the house. Uh, to me, my feeling is that we are incomplete when we are all not here in terms of both sides. Business, well, business can go on and all that, but I still register my discomfort with that. Both the government and the opposition group are yet to meet physically on this particular matter. Last year, similar meetings over missing National Unity Platform supporters were held, but they ended in disagreement. Jackson Onyango, NTV, Art Parliament.